But the thing, this is the thing. We don't hate, like if I see her or Kay sees her, it's gonna be, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Kay may see her and be like, where's my money? <laughs> This is a very sensitive topic because it is true. If you do not like the truth, please watch another video. Hey guys, it's me again, Black Filipino TV. Now today, I wanna get into it. And this is a very sensitive topic. You hold this near and dear to your heart. Even more than that Filipino you love when you're talking to, or that you wanna talk to. <laughs> but you hold it more dear to your heart. Guys, it's about money. Okay, we're gonna talk about money today. And the, the thing is, the topic is, is do not lend money or even get involved with money in the Philippines when it comes to most Filipinos. And don't get me wrong, not all Filipinos are like this. You know, you have a lot of responsible Filipinos, but money is a sensitive topic and it's extremely sensitive. And I'm gonna give you a breakdown of things that can happen and also have a story as well. Guys, let's get right into it. So now I, had a, I, had a, I have a friend that talks to me all the time. He talks to me on, on Hangouts. That's Google, by the way, if anyone knows. And, you know, we, we talk back and forth and he gives me little topics and ideas. And one thing that he brought up, and I already know this is because I went through it myself, um, he brought up money, okay? And his, his problem was, because he's from New York as well, like I am, his problem was, is he couldn't grasp the way, you know, a lot of Filipinos don't understand, you know, the concept of money and not that they're retarded. I mean, you have to think about the situation a lot of Filipinos find themselves in. And like they don't honor money the same as we would in the US, for instance. And I'm not saying all people do because there's people that are just like some of those Filipinos that are irresponsible are here. Now, the thing though is, is when you get involved in money here, there are a lot of people that don't care and don't maybe not even understand the value of money. Okay, to where they'll just get money and just it blows right to their fingers. So what happens is, you know, you get involved with people in different business dealings, or maybe they'll ask you to borrow money, and that's number one no-no. Okay, don't feel any attachments to your money, especially if you're gonna give it to, to someone, to a Filipino. That means if you're gonna lend someone money, you have to lend them the money without the mindset of expecting it back. Okay, don't ever lend money saying, you know what, I wanna get that money back in six months because you may never get it back in six months. And I'm gonna tell some stories about that. I'm gonna tell a story that actually, that I went through myself. And um, I wasn't surprised because the way, it was the way I gave. So I'm gonna get into that before the video's over. Now, what happens is, is you don't want to cut ties with the Filipinos you're close to. Okay, you don't wanna cut ties with them. So it's best not to have money involved, okay? And it's best, and if money is involved, it has to be a situation to where it's like you're giving money to your son or daughter. You can't really expect it back unless they're a responsible person. Now, some people you give money to, they'll give it back to you. You know, like for instance, uh, Kay's family, her sisters, they give money to each other all the time, then they give it back and they pay each other back. And I've had situations like that as well with one of Kay's family members. Um, but that's, that's different, it's family. But they're responsible, Kay's family is very responsible and they're very trustworthy. So the money dealings that they have between each other, it's fine, they always pay each other back. And when I was in situations like that, it always money always exchanged hands, wasn't a problem. But for the most part, don't get involved because number one, you don't wanna ruin those relationships, okay? You'll start feeling a certain way because money is a, is a close attachment and it's near and dear to the heart, to, mo to most people, the more than they think. And what will happen is you'll find yourself looking at a person with a side eye. So before you start having a side eye, you might as well not even get involved in it. That's the thing, guys, that's the number one thing you don't wanna get involved in here in the Philippines is money, okay? Now I'll tell you a scenario that I went through. I remember one time, one of Kay's family members outside of, outside of the sisters, you know, you have the immediate family, and then you have the family outside, the extended version. Now, one thing is Kay's family don't ask for money, guys. That's one thing. So, you know, they didn't tell Kay's married to a foreigner they got money. You know, Kay's family, even her other family members, they'll have money. Now, the thing that happened, and I don't want to really tell this person's story, but it happened with a certain family member 
who wasn't really that good with money, okay? What happened was um, she asked Kay for money. Now, Kay told me about her. Kay told me how she was. Kay said, well, you know, she likes to gamble a lot. She does this, this, and this, and that. And I don't want to give her money because we don't want to expect it back. I said, Kay, ask her how much she wants. So Kay asked her how much she wants. And I think she said, I think she said 5,000, right? She said 5,000. And then I said, hmm, but she likes to gamble a lot, right? Kay said, yeah. I said, well, if you give her 5,000, of course, that's $100. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna expect that back. If we had $100 to just give away, I would have done it. So I said, okay, I said, it's not a problem. I said, you know what you do? Because she, she can never say that Kay never did for her. So I said, Kay, you know what you do? I said, if we give her 2,000, you don't mind losing that 2,000, right? So we turned around, I said, okay, Kay said, okay, that, that's good, I don't mind losing the 2,000. I said, cool. I said, give her the 2,000. So we sent the 2,000, we sent her through, uh, to Sabuana. Now out here, you can always uh, send money in Sabuana, you can send it in the Philippines. And you know, if you want to send it to other countries, you can go to Western Union and do that as well. I, I think Sabuana, I'm not sure if Sabuana, because you can send it out of the country. But yeah, I know with uh, Sabuana, you can send it in the country, Sabuana in every province, almost either Sabuana or Palau and Poncha. So we sent the money to Sabuana and she got the money now. The thing is, right, in K, Kay's a woman of principles and I understand it and I get it. Kay is not stressing it, but it's all about principles, morals and principles. Kay is kind of like, she kind of has a US mind state. And I'm not trying to say that Filipinos are like that because there are Filipinos that pay their debts or you know, there wouldn't be business situations happening at all here if Filipinos didn't pay their debts. Not for the most part, but there are a lot of them that don't really get the concept of money. Like for instance, I'm sure everybody that lives here where I am now understands you probably can give them money and they'll pay it back but it, it's a, it's a poverty situation but anyway make a long story short let me get into what happened with Kay so what Kay does is Kay will uh Kay will contact her here and there and throw up scenarios like oh I really need the money <laughs> Kay be like I really need the money I'm having situations and I need to pay a bill and just to get her to give her some urgency to pay the money back guys because it's all about morals Kay's a woman of principles and I get it, I get it. You know what, Kay's, Kay's not wrong for it, it's her money, right, so. It's true, we needed that time. Eh? See, see, Kay, you're okay, she says true, we needed that time. We really didn't need it, we really never needed it. Uh, so I didn't mind giving it, guys. Sometimes you gotta give like that. So, and Kay, Kay was fine with it, but Kay, and Kay doesn't do it all the time, like then three months to six months will pass by, Kay would throw up another scenario. And then Kay, and then- Why you didn't throw up scenario, Jay? Well, no, I know. I asked her when you, she gonna pay, and she's the one throwing up scenario to me. Yeah, that, that, that's exactly what happened. You heard it from Kay. I'm actually gonna leave that in the video. I'm gonna leave it in the video, but Kay said it. See, Kay, she, Kay's, she's not frustrated, but I know I'll come across frustrated, but guys, it's a sensitive topic, but the thing, this is the thing. We don't hate, like if I see her or Kay sees her, it's gonna be, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Kay may see her and be like, Where's my money? <laughs> but guys, that's why I never lend money. To see, anyone. see, no. see. That's why you never lend money, and that's why you I never borrow money. and I never lend. You never borrow, never lend, and, and that's how it is out here, guys. But I've been here, so I like to tell you, I like to tell you guys my stories because I've been here for what going on six years, and um, you know, I fully experienced the Philippines. I fully experienced it, so. I'm, I'm happy that, and I haven't talked about this before, like before, I know you guys remember, I would just make videos going to the store, or I would go shopping, and you notice recently, I don't do any of that anymore. I'm gonna start doing it again, I don't care if you guys watch or not, but um, I haven't done it anymore because I feel I'm more, I'm very inclined to tell you guys about situations that happen here. Okay, I've been here long enough, I paid my expat dues in the country five, six years in a row, without ever leaving, I never needed to go back to the States. So I understand scenarios and situations and I get it and I understand things to talk about. And I, and I know how to talk about it without bashing because I have not once have I ever bashed a Filipino my videos of Filipina. I make sure not to, I just tell the real what's happening. So that's actually a, 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 a warning, not a warning, what would you say? Like a PSA, this is my PSA announcement for my videos. And I, I'm actually gonna add another PSA in the front because I'm not bashing Filipinos in a way. And I'm gonna put a PSA in the front, and you guys probably seen it in the front already, but uh, at the end it's gonna say, um, 
no Filipinos were bashed in this video because they weren't. So yeah, guys, um, that's my PSA. But that's the thing. See, money is a sensitive topic, and that's the and, and the great thing is is if you give it and you out of the kindness of your heart, don't expect it back. Don't expect it back. If you expect it back, don't give it. So if you if you don't mind giving five thousand. 10,000 pesos even some guys may not even, or girls may not even mind giving five a hundred to two hundred dollars That's what it is five thousand ten thousand pesos, but When you give it and you expect it back You're gonna find yourself in heartbreak because you're gonna start resenting the person You're not gonna like them anymore and you're not gonna trust them because why would you trust a person? that can't keep their word. It's just true also when you borrow you need to be responsible. Yeah, and when you yeah and when you borrow you do need to be responsible so and and that's the thing and that's why my boy talked to me about it he said you know jay you need to, to tell people this i said yeah i know this already and i have it on my head i didn't want to talk about it. i said i didn't want to talk about it for so long but i said you know what he brought it up to me it, it resurfaced in my head again i went through it myself so i said you know what i'm inclined to talk about it. let me talk about it because people need to know so when you get to the philippines don't get involved with money, especially if you love your family. If you have a, a Filipino family when you come here, you have a wife. And a lot of you guys already know because you may have a wife and you're already maybe dealing with it. Or you may have a girlfriend and you're already dealing with it. You're already helping out family members are going through it. So you guys know. I'm sure there'll be a lot of you in the video say, oh yeah, Jay, I already know. I'm going through it now. So yeah, guys, it's real. It's real and it happens. So if you want to keep that same love for the Filipinos near you, don't give out money or... Give it out and don't expect it back. Of how it ended was she didn't return the money, Kay let it go, and so now here we are. And what is this, two, three years later, Kay? Four years, I think. Four years later? Yeah, we gave her the money four years ago. Never received I it back. I think not the years, two years, sorry. Yeah, we gave her the money three years ago, never received it back. So that's why you don't do it, guys. So with all that being said, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Also, guys, make sure to follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. So with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Be sure to subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace. Hey, guys, this is the brand here. This shirt represents how you feel in your journey to Philippines. Go get your shirt today.